hello friends welcome to electrical point so in this video i am going to show you how to find the equivalent resistance of a symmetric network so you can see this circuit and we have to calculate the resistance across a and b point and you see there is a difficult pattern given here and its resistance have resistance of r okay now if you are going to find the equivalent resistance of this network you can see uh, you cannot classify its resistance in series or parallel pattern it will be very difficult to find out which are in series and which are in parallel so in this kind of uh, questions we have to apply the method of symmetric line okay now you can see if i divide this circuit through a vertical line you can see each side are symmetric about this vertical axis if you fold this network suppose uh, this is the line and you have to uh, you are going to fold the right side of the network uh, to the left side then what will happen this side will overlap with this side or you can also say that this resistance uh, this uh, circuit is symmetric about this line or this side is the mirror image of this side so you can uh, find this find the resistance across a and b by the symmetric line method so see here this is the line suppose i name it as p point okay suppose this is the p point now you can see as each resistance have equal values resistance between a and p and resistance between p and b will be same so i can simplify this circuit to like this suppose this is the a point and between a and b we have p point and this is b and both resistances are series are in series and this is suppose r this this is suppose r this so r a b will be how much r this plus r this equal to 2 r this so our objective will be now to find out this r this okay now if i write the resistance between a and p i will simplify with okay this circuit will be like this this was the a point this is r this is r this is also r and here we have the point p and you see this resistance will divide to r by 2 on each side okay understand so this is our resistance across a and p point now you can see r by 2 and r these two are in parallel so we can simplify this circuit like this r this is r and this will be the equivalent of r and r by 2 which will be r into r by 2 by r plus r by 2 and it will be 2 r square into 2 by uh, 2 plus 3 r and it will be r by 3 okay now i can write this resistance as r by 3 okay and after that after that you can see oh, okay let me name it a n p point now you can also simplify to you can see r and r by 3 are in series across a and p so it will be now this r is here and this is the equivalent of r and r by 3 which will be r plus r by 3 as they are in series so simply they will be added up 4 r by 3 okay so it will be 4 r by 3 Now see,
r and 4 r by 3 are in parallel so what will be the resistance across a and p point it will be parallel of r and 4 r by 3 let me calculate it r into 4 r by 3 divided by r plus 4 r by 3 and it will be 4 r square by 3 into 3 plus 4 r it will be 7 r 3 3 cancel and we will have 4 r by 7 so r this this is the r this and it is equal to 4 r by 7 okay so now what will be the equivalent resistance across rab so rab was 2 r this so it will be 2 into 4 r by 7 and it is 8 r by 7 so see this is a very simple method and in this method you can calculate the equivalent resistance of a symmetric network by using a vertical line which will divide the circuit into parts and each of the parts are mirror image of each other okay thank you